I'll make the lunches, Ma. Well, Ma, I'm ready to make the supreme sacrifice and give up a day of school for Daddy's sake. <laughs> J.J. Well, I tried. Marty, why you let me oversleep? You know I gotta go to work. I'm over an hour late now. James, wait a minute. I gotta tell you something. I ain't got no time, babe. James, this is important. Well, what is it, Florida? Uh, uh, well, have a cup of coffee. I ain't got time for no coffee. James, I've got to tell you something. Well, Florida, I'll talk to you later. I'll call you on my lunch hour, here. Yeah? James, you're late off. <laughs> Your boss called. Said you're laid off, but he'll call you back in a couple of days. <laughs> James, no! <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I ain't gonna throw the chair. Well, I guess they hired that out-of-work brain surgeon. <laughs> Wonder what this bad news is. Hello? Yeah. Baby, this could be a job. It's the employment agency. Yeah, go ahead. Who y'all want to speak to? Florida Evans. What job in what kitchen? No, she ain't here. And if she was, she wouldn't be taking no job in no kitchen. What the hell are you doing dealing with an employment agency? I decided to take a job. Yeah, well, I just undecided for you. So you got a full-time job right here in this house. You ain't putting in time in nobody's kitchen. James, there is dignity in all work. It's not the kind of work you do that gives you dignity. It's how well you do it. And when I was a maid, forgive me, but I was the best damn maid there was. <laughs> James, I'm only trying to help you so you won't kill yourself. I don't need no help. Now, I'm the man of this house, and I'll bring home the bacon. At a dollar and 59 cents a pound. Sometimes it takes more than one person to bring home the bacon. And what's all this job foolishness about anyhow? First it was Thelma, now it's you. Now, I'm gonna tell you both, I done had about enough of it. Thelma, you and Michael say I got hypertension? Well, if I am hypertension, y'all gave it to me with this nicking and nagging all the time. Hell, Junior's the only one in here that ain't bugging me to death. Yeah, that's for two reasons, Dad. One, because I respect you, and two, because I fear for my life. <laughs> You know what your trouble is. You got too darn much pride. What else I got to hold on to? And what's wrong with a man having a little pride? And what's wrong with a wife and children being concerned about your health? And loving you. Oh, James, everything is gonna be just fine. Daddy, Daddy. please go and get a checkup. Yeah, Daddy. I heard if you don't cry, they give you a lollipop. Daddy, the article said that most black people don't take enough physical examination. I hope that article also said most black people can't afford to pay for physical examinations. Oh, yeah. oh but James, you can get a free one at the clinic. Daddy, even if there isn't anything wrong with you, you're still supposed to get a physical once a year. Yeah, Daddy, that could be something wrong with you, and you don't even know it. Don't even know it? Yo. Does this look like a man that's sick? <laughs> Does this look like I got hypertension? Huh? 